This video shows you how to humanely get squirrels out of your attic, roof, and chimney with removal tips from experts in Ohio. Cottom's Wildlife Removal Company removes squirrels naturally and humanely from houses, roofs, attics, soffits, walls, chimneys, fireplaces, sheds, garages, decks, gardens, and your yard in Ohio. Well, humane treatment has been part of our service uh, since the beginning because no one wants to hire someone uh, that's going to hurt an animal deliberately. So basically our focus and our philosophy is getting the animal out without hurting them and then sealing up the area where they got in so they can't get back in there again. We have 11 certified techs that are wildlife control professionals. Today we have our moral support dog employee of the month, Hendrick Cotter. Here at Combs Wildlife, we treat the animals with respect because we actually do respect the animals. Um, you know, we, we know a lot more about the animals than the average person would know because we're dealing with them every single day. So our respect level for the for the animals is very high um, because we know what they're what, you know a lot about them and they're pretty incredible. The way to humanely solve these issues is to start it off the right way, where you address all of the entry points and solving them the right way the first time, and then you're with that, you're able to humanely use one-way doors and eviction processes to get the animals out and then fix the areas so that the animals aren't stressed being blocked in or being stuck in a trap so that when that animal comes back, they cannot get back in, right? So the customer's home is, is then safe. There are lots of squirrels in Ohio. The three that we deal with are the red squirrel, or the smaller squirrels that are more chipmunk-like, the fox squirrel, and the gray squirrel. Actually, there's four because there's a, uh, there's a squirrel in Ohio that's nocturnal. It's the only nocturnal squirrel in Ohio, and it's called a flying squirrel. They can get into a house several ways. Uh, one of the more common ways they get into a house are power ventilators. Uh, they go up into the power ventilator. Sometimes the uh, squirrels will chew into the into the fascia board here and get into the uh, home that way. Or sometimes they'll enter through a, a uh, roof vent and they'll chew a hole through that. And our process is fixing and sealing and excluding and trapping. There's no pesticides or chemicals that are used. It's all mechanical control. And then squirrels are legal to release. So basically once we catch a squirrel in a live trap, we can release them. Squirrels can chew through just about anything and they're very destructive to wiring and to insulation, particularly wiring inside of an attic. Or also they'll get into a wall and if there's some wiring in that wall, whether it be a phone or a cable or electrical, it can be chewed up and often is. Our common protocol on every job is to go out and do a good thorough inspection, which involves the ladders, which involves looking up on the roof and checking all the areas and doing a good thorough assessment of what the potential problems are, what the animal is, and then how we can help the customer. Then we figure out where the animals are getting in at. Then we also uh, like to include areas where they might get in. And some of the possibilities here are this uh, fascia underneath the shingles. Then what we would do here is put some flashing over this all the way down through. We also put a, a power ventilator screen uh, over top of the power ventilators. And then we also would uh, screen these roof vents with a, uh, with a much heavier screen. Squirrels will get into any construction gap that they can to get into an attic to find shelter. Um, so what we do is go around the house and any area that a squirrel could use, we seal up and then install one-way valves so that the squirrels are able to exit the house but then not get trapped. Um, and it's a win-win for everybody. You know, the squirrel just gets to move on and the customer gets their problem solved. So this will be secure directly to the house. So when the troll comes through the trap, he goes through this first door, the door closes behind him. And because it has this bottom bracket, if he tries to go behind, well first he has a spring that's working against him. And then a lot of times what they do is they essentially rush to the side that they first came in, and they put all their body weight on this door. 
So if you tune the spring in their own body weight, they're actually preventing themselves from going back in. And usually what happens is just in their dash to get outside, they go through this front door, then the second, and then they can be stored or uh, contained within um, this reserve section. But in this case, what we're doing is we're actually opening up um, the most exterior door. So that way, as they're coming out of the house and into this portion of the trap, they can actually go right outside and we can valve them out without having to uh, directly stress them. Uh, so really this is the best case for all parties when we're able to valve out the animals because the animals themselves aren't going to be distressed. The customer doesn't have to really worry about anything. Um, and we don't have to make a separate trip out you know, each time uh, that an animal is caught, thereby preventing that time where the animal has to be you know, stuck within the trap or stressing itself out. So now I have that void that's in this part right here. So when the, the squirrel comes out of this hole, it has to go through this adapter. And if I go ahead and grab my trap, So now, the squirrel can go through that void, past these two doors, and then from here, because we have this set to valve, it just goes right out. Homeowners often wonder how to evict a squirrel and how to deter squirrels from their house. They try squirrel control products, such as rodent fogger for addicts, squirrel repellent, like ultrasonic squirrel repeller. They wonder how to use ammonia to get rid of squirrels. They use squirrel poison from stores like Home Depot, or just one bite poison for squirrels. But Cottom's wildlife removal highly discourages killing squirrels or smoking out squirrels with squirrel bombs and rodent smoke bombs. Well, it's legal for a homeowner to trap a squirrel. Basically, you're getting a trap and you're putting some peanut butter. And the thing you want to remember is you just can't dump them into a park. Uh, the parks won't allow that and try to take them several miles from where you caught them from. However, in the winter time, if you catch a squirrel, it's not really humane to release them into a, into a strange area because of the fact they have no nuts stored, it's cold, and their cover and their food will be eliminated by moving them away. One of our services is if the insulation has been soiled with the droppings in the urine, we'll go in and we'll inspect the attic and we'll remove the insulation and then we place the insulation with the new insulation and we'll also disinfect and deodorize the rafters uh, to keep the smell down from the urine soaking in. Right now we have uh, six vans running full time on, on the road, um, kind of adding more all the time. No matter what we face throughout the day, the vans are, are ready to go and ready to address the problems as fast as we can. Cottoms is a humane squirrel removal company in Ohio with humane squirrel removal services in the Cleveland Akron area, including Parma, Lakewood, Strongsville, Cuyahoga Falls, Brunswick, Cleveland Heights, Euclid, Mentor, and Canton. Humane squirrel removal services in the Columbus area, including Dublin, Newark, Westerville, Delaware, Hilliard, Upper Arlington, Gahanna, Reynoldsburg, Grove City, and Lancaster. Humane squirrel removal services in the Cincinnati area, including Hamilton and Fairfield. Additionally, Cottoms has humane squirrel removal services in Toledo, humane squirrel removal services in the Dayton Springfield area, including Huber Heights, Kettering, Middletown, and Beaver Creek, Lorraine Elyria, the Youngstown Warren area, Findlay, Mansfield, Marion, Lima, and Zanesville. You can find Cottoms Wildlife Services on the web by Googling Humane Squirrel Removal Near Me, Squirrel Removal Cost, Squirrel Removal Services Near Me, or Squirrel Control Near Me. But the best way to learn more about Cottom's Wildlife Services is to go directly to our website, www.mcwildlife.com. We have a staff of three office uh, managers full-time. We have a 24-7 uh, answering service, and we do respond 24-7 to emergency calls. Our facility here, we have 3,000 square feet. We have uh, about two-thirds of that for the warehouse, and then the other third of it is for our office managers 
and my son Mike Jr. owns the business so his office is here as well so we're very equipped to handle uh, any particular job that comes up. This company, um, my father started in 1986 um, and just been kind of growing every year. Um, I went full time in 2012 after college um, and we've just been kind of growing from there. Uh, basically just becoming one of the biggest wildlife companies in Ohio and adding more people all the time. You know, really there is no house that's too big for anything that we could handle. Um, we're really geared more toward larger homes and bigger scale projects because that's all the equipment that we have. I mean, we have equipment to handle any issue where we can get the equipment and know how to safely use it. Uh, so the larger scale issues are really what we're really designed for and have crews to handle. To schedule a squirrel inspection by Cottom's Wildlife Removal, call 440-236-8114. Thanks for watching.